Hey, honey buns, it is Jane, your exclusive startup business coach. And I want to come in and talk to all my braiders, so bring it in. I wanted to come in and talk to you guys about the three mistakes why you are not booked and braided in your braiding business. Number one, okay, you being a braider is your top secret. It's your best kept secret. Boo, honey, sweet thing. You need to be telling every and anybody that you are a braider. You being a braider, you being in business as a braider should not be a secret. You should be advertising, marketing, and promoting all the damn time, every damn day, okay? So that's no reason number one. That's mistake number one. You should be telling people about your business. You should not be being discreet about you being in the braiding business, okay? The second reason why you are not booked and braided, honey, is because you have decided to mix your personal Instagram with your business Instagram, okay? I know Lil Ray Ray, and I know a uh, great granny had a birthday party, but why are you putting those pictures with pictures of hair that you're doing? Do me a favor, do us a favor, do your braiding business a favor and create a spot just for your braiding, okay? So you need an Instagram for your braiding, you need a Facebook for your braiding. Do not mix your social media, okay? Do not mix your braiding with your personal life. I know you may want to share the most recent things that's going on in your life, but you want to keep your braiding business just about braiding. So go ahead and create those accounts and start posting and advertising only on those accounts about your braiding business. The third mistake or third reason why you are not booked in braiding, honey, is because you do not have a marketing plan, okay? You know you have a, a old homegirl that you got into it with and she just pops up out of nowhere like, hey girl, with a text, random, like she random, that's how random you are with your marketing, okay? Your marketing should not be random. Your marketing should be clear, concise, and consistent, okay? People should know what you do, how you do, how much you cost, and how they can get in contact with you, okay? Your marketing plan needs to be A1 from day one, and make sure when you're out here marketing your business, you want to think to yourself, okay, I know that sometimes I'm going to have to market my business for free, and there's going to be other times you're going to have to market for paid, okay? And also, do me a favor. Do yourself a favor and your braiding business a favor. You need to be capitalizing on a lot of these holidays that are coming up. When I'm dropping this, this is around October, so you can capitalize on Halloween. You can capitalize on Thanksgiving, Black Friday, Christmas, New Year's Eve. You got five holidays that you can capitalize on. And if you listen to this any other time, you should be capitalizing on most holidays when you're a braider because that is the point where you can be saying, I'm running a special, I'm running a discount. And you need to go ahead and grab my braiding for cash course or replay. The course has Instagram, Facebook, YouTube information, while the replay is the replay where I tell you how I started my braiding business for $10 and you can do the absolute same. So take $20 right now, invest it in yourself and invest it in my, in my course or my replay because $10, you could take $20, $10 is for you to get the course, the other $10 is for you to start your business. Stop playing with me, get this money. So you guys, all the links that you need are in the description below, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, y'all. Get money. Get money.